All right, what I would like you to do is please pause your video and try and solve this one on your own. All right, now that you have tried this one, I will tell you that the correct answer is 5,760 minutes. If you got that answer, awesome. Just skip ahead to the next slide and see if you can do that one on your own. For those of you that need extra help, fantastic. Let's go through and do this because you know that I can't get enough dimensional analysis. So in this case, we need to figure out our path. And this one actually is not using your conversion sheet. This is using conversions that you already know. So I don't know how many minutes are in a day, but what I do know how to do is convert from days into hours and then from hours into minutes. So in this case, we note that we have one, two conversions. So I need to write one, two conversions over here. So what I'm going to do is I know that one day is equal to 24 hours. And I also know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So now if we go through and solve for this problem, we start off by writing down what we're given or what we want to convert, which in this case is going to be four days. And then we start building our railroad tracks. Again, we have one, two conversions. So therefore we need to build one, two sets of tracks. And I need to convert from days into minutes, so I need days to cancel out. So one day on top, I'm sorry, one day on bottom per 24 hours. Days on top are gonna cancel out with days on bottom and we need to continue on. And since I have hours on top here, I know that I need to put hours on bottom and one hour was equal to 60 minutes. So hours on top, cancel out hours on bottom. I wanted to get into units of minutes and that's exactly what we did. So now all I'm gonna do is take everything on top and multiply it and then divide by everything on bottom which again in this case is just one so it doesn't matter. So we're gonna take four times 24 times 60 and we are going to get the answer that I mentioned earlier of 5,760 minutes. So now I know that when four days of time have passed, it's the same thing as 5,760 minutes passing. All right, students, so like I said, I know this video gets to be a little long, so it is time for a break. Get up, stretch, just take your mind off dimensional analysis. I know it's important. I know you're loving it but get up and take about a four minute break right now. All right, I would like you to please pause the video and try and solve for this one on your own. I will provide the answer to you in a couple seconds. And in this case, the answer is going to be 11.57 days. If you got that as a correct answer, fantastic. Move on to the next slide. If you got that incorrect, please follow along as we go through and solve this problem. So as we take a look at this one, we need to convert, well, how many, or if we have a million seconds pass, how many days is that? Well, let's go through and solve for it. Again, we're not gonna use our conversion sheet because the conversion sheet doesn't have time, but what we are gonna do is figure out our path. So I don't know how many seconds are in a day, but what I do know is how many seconds are in a minute. I also don't know how many minutes are in a day, but what I do know is how many minutes are in an hour. Oh, I know how many hours are in a day. So therefore, that is going to be my path. And you'll notice this is going to be our longest conversion yet. We need one, two, three different conversions. So let's go through and start writing those down. First conversion, I need to convert from seconds into minutes. I suddenly realized that my 
S looks like a 5 here. Sure, I guess that's better. And let's go through and write down our conversion. So I know that 60 seconds are equal to 1 minute. That's my first conversion. Second conversion, I need to go from minutes to hours. And I know that 60 minutes are equal to 1 hour. And then last one, I need to convert from hours into days. And I know that there are 24 hours in one day. All right, so we can start building our railroad tracks here. So we're going to take what we're given, which is 1 million seconds. And we need to start building our tracks. And again, we note that we have one, two, three conversions. Therefore, I'm going to build on one, two, three sets or additional sets of tracks. We have seconds on top, therefore we have to put seconds on bottom. And again, please remember that your sets of railroad tracks line up with your conversions. So I know that my first conversion is going to be this set of tracks. I know my second conversion is this set. I know my third conversion is this set. So I'm going to look at my first conversion. And I'm going to put seconds on bottom because I need seconds to cancel out. So 60 seconds per one minute. Seconds on top, cancel out seconds on bottom. Now we're in terms of minutes, which we don't want. So I'm going to look at the second conversion here. And we have 60 minutes per one hour. Minutes on top, cancel out minutes on bottom. And then our last conversion, we just need to get from hours to days. So we look at our third conversion and we note that there are 24 hours per one day. And let's go through and see what we get for an answer. Oh, and then hours on top, cancel hours on bottom. So we got today's just like we wanted. What I do want to point out here is this is our first problem where we actually need to multiply. Where we're really going to have numbers on both top and bottom. So what we need to do is take 1 million times 1 times 1 times 1. Divided by 60 times 60 times 24. So what's going to happen is you're actually going to have a million on top divided by, and we need to go 60, and that's going to be divided by 86,400. So now when I plug those two numbers into the calculator, we're going to get our answer of 11.57 days. Just a fun fact for you, 1 million seconds we just determined is 11.57 days. If we had a billion seconds, that would be equal to 31 years. All right, as we have done in the previous slides, what I would like you to do now is please pause the video and try this one out on your own, and I will provide the answer to you in a few seconds. And for this problem, you actually may get two different answers. You might get an answer of point of 0.55 tons. Or you might also get an answer of 0.5511 tons. And the reason for that is there's actually two different paths that you can take. And sometimes this happens. They're just conversions. There's different ways to convert them. Just like if you wanted to convert feet into miles, you could just say 5,280 feet is equal to one mile, or you could convert feet to yards to miles. There's just different ways of doing it. So in this case, I'm going to write out what the two different paths are, just so you can see that, but I'm only going to solve it using one of them. So one path that you could do is grams to ounces. So we're going to use that conversion. So we're going to go grams to ounces. Then we're going to go from ounces into pounds. 
And then our last conversion, we are going to go from pounds into tons. The second conversion that we could do, we would actually convert grams. And then you'll notice down here, we can go from grams into kilograms, which is on your other side of the conversion sheet, but some of you may have seen that on there. So you go grams to kilograms, and then from kilograms, you could convert into pounds using the conversion that we have down here. And then again, you would convert from pounds into tons. But again, I'm not going to solve um, using this one. I'm actually going to solve using this one over here. So let's go through and solve for this. First thing that I'm going to note is that I'm going to have one, two, three different conversions. So we need to figure out what those are. Our first conversion was 28.35 grams is equal to one ounce. Second conversion was 16 ounces equal to one pound. And pound again is LB. And then our third conversion is going to be that there are 2,000 pounds in one ton. So again, we take our given, we take what we want to convert, which is going to be 500,000 grams. And we start building our railroad tracks. And in this case, our tracks are going to need three additional sets. And that is for our one, two, three conversions. So let's go through and solve for this one. Since we have grams on top, we need to put grams on bottom. Again, pulling in our first conversion here, second conversion there, and third conversion. So therefore, we're going to have our 28.35 grams on bottom, and that was equal to one ounce. Grams on top, cancel grams on bottom. Now, since we have ounces on top, we need to put ounces on bottom, and 16 ounces are equal to one pound. Sorry, it's poorly written one. So, ounces on top, counts on ounces on bottom. And our last one, we have 2,000 pounds per one ton. Pound on top, cancel out pound on bottom. And now we need to go through and solve for this. So to figure out what to put in our calculator, we have 500,000 on top. Divided by 28.35 times 16 times 2,000. Which, if we plug those in, 28.35 times 16 times 2,000. We get an answer of... 907, 200,000, or 907,200. Plug those into our calculator, so we take our 500,000, divided by 907,200, and we get that answer of 0. 0.5511 tons. Just like in the previous slides, I want you to please pause the video now and try to get these answers on your own. I'm not going to go through and show the work for these ones. I'm just going to show the answers. If you still need help after these, please meet with your instructor for some individualized help. All right, I will show you the answers here in a few seconds. All right, and the answers are, question number one is one point seven miles. Question number two, 20 gallons is equal to 5.29 liters. And question number three, one mile is equal to 100 
60,934 centimeters. Again, if you still need help with these problems, please go ask your instructor for additional help.